Hello everyone, it's me, Rob. Now I know you're waiting to watch your Draw With Rob video, but I hope you don't mind because I thought I'd pop up here and tell you about something super exciting. I know lots of you have enjoyed my Draw With Rob activity books. Well, guess what? There's a new one. This one here is called Draw With Rob, Build A Story. And as the title suggests, it's all about how to build your very own story. So we're gonna be talking about what characters you can include in your story, where are you gonna set your story? Whereabouts in the world? Maybe it's not even gonna be set in this world. Maybe it's gonna be set in outer space. When are you gonna set your story? Is it gonna be in the present day, in the past, or in the future? We're gonna be talking about beginnings, middles, and endings. Um, things like plot twists. We need some unexpected things to happen in our story. But it's all gonna be done via lots of fun activities. So we have lots of your regular draw-alongs. Hang on, let me see if I can find a good one for you. Here we go, a superhero bear draw-along. We've got your frames here. Every page is perforated. Make it easy to tear out and stick up on your wall. We've got lots of other activities too, puzzles, colouring. So it's really super fun. And then right at the end, we have some blank pages for you to write your own story on and draw the pictures. And then you can tear them out, staple them together and make your own book. So it's super cool. You're not going to need me at all soon because you're going to be writing your own stories. Hopefully that's the case. And one day, who knows, maybe I will go into a bookshop, buy your book, and you can sign it for me. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Now, I know you're desperate to watch this Draw With Rob video, so I'm gonna leave you alone. I'll just tell you that you can order the brand new Draw With Rob book from wherever you get your books right now. So why don't you go and do that? Okay, Rob, it's over to you. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob with me, Rob Biddulph. That's me on the back of the very first Draw With Rob activity book. I'm a children's author and illustrator. Maybe you've seen some of my stories before. This one, it was my very first book. It's called Blown Away. This is the board book version. So a good one to read if you're a little bit messy because it's wipe cleanable. Uh, it's a nice little story, this little. It's got Wilbur the Seal. Do you remember we did Draw with Rob of Wilbur the Seal? When did we do that? Quite a long time ago now. I think it was number 22, that video. But yes, fun story. That's my favourite spread. It might be my favourite spread that I've ever done, actually. I really like that one. Maybe you've seen this book here, Show and Tell, about a class full of children who bring in really, really crazy things for Show and Tell. Oh, look, there I am. That's me when I was a schoolboy. Look at that perfectly round head. <laughs> But look, they bring in things like flying saucers and one of them, Thea here, brings in the Queen of Denmark. It's a funny one, that Loch Ness Monsters. And Violet, who brings in Big Ben. Check that one out if you like crazy stories. Right, we are here today to draw a picture. Now this is the one I've not been looking forward to because this is the animal <laughs> that I find very hard to draw. Today we are drawing a horse. I don't know why, I've always found horses quite difficult, but I think I've worked out a way to do a nice cartoon horse in quite a cool way. So I'm gonna to attempt to show you how to do that today. So what you're gonna need is a piece of paper. You're gonna need a pen or a pencil, something to draw with. Uh, and you might need something to color with in a little while. So this is how it works. I'm gonna break this drawing down into a simple shapes, hopefully, as simple as I can anyway. And I'm gonna draw a simple shape here on my piece of paper, then you can pause the video and you can copy what I do. Start me up again, I'll draw a bit more. Pause me, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And at the end, hopefully, we're gonna end up with a quite a nice, fun drawing of a horse. Right then, shall we start? Shall we just get into it? Right, here we go. I want you to start with, we're gonna start sort of towards the top left-hand corner of our piece of paper. And I want you to draw sort of two sides of a triangle, okay? So up, down, a little bit curvy at the top, like that. And we are starting with our horse's ear. Okay, and then from the bottom right-hand side of our horse's ear, what I want you to do is sort of a bit of a curve, sort of getting towards a semicircle, but not quite a semicircle, okay? So we sort of come down and around a little bit. And then what we're gonna do after that, we're gonna sort of straighten up a bit like that. And we're gonna head down our page diagonally to about there, maybe a bit more, about there, I would say. Then 
we are going to turn around. We're going to turn around in a sort of curved shape like that and head back up our page in a straightish line back towards where the ear is. But before we get to the ear, we're just going to turn around and tuck in behind like that. Okay. And this is going to be our horse's face. Do you know that old joke? Um, the horse, horse walks into a bar. The barman says, why the long face? Horses have these huge long faces, don't they? So that's where we're starting today. We need to give our horse another ear because they do have two. So what we're going to do is just here, we're just going to draw another one of those up and down shapes and tuck it in behind like that. And our horse is going to be looking in this direction here. Okay. So the next thing to do, I'm going to switch to my slightly thinner pen here. We're going to give our horse a nose and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to draw two quite big um, sort of oval shapes down here towards the bottom like that. And these are going to be our horse's nostrils. We're going to colour them in a bit later so they look a bit strange to begin with but don't worry all will become clear and we're going to give our horse an eye here. So I think today we're just going to do a little dot for an eye on our horsey and we're going to put it about there. <laughs> funny and we can't see the other one because it's around the other side of our horse's head so horse their eyes are right on the sides of their heads horses so we can actually only see one of our horse's eyes okay now then we're going to get into a little fiddly bit now because horses are famous for their teeth did you know that they're famous for their teeth so we're going to give our horse a really toothy grin so what we're going to do about here so level with that nostril here we are going to come down a little straight line and what I want you to do I want you to sort of curl around in little sort of bumpy shapes here for teeth and we're going to follow it around to about there and then we're just going to go straight up like that it doesn't make much sense at the moment does it but hopefully it will in a second and I'm going to do our horse our horse's tongue is going to be sticking out because our horse is going to be looking at something down here that he wants to eat so what I want you to do from about here, from the second bump along, I want you to draw a shape that comes down, curls around, and then sort of disappears back up behind there. And that's gonna be our horse's tongue. It all looks very strange at the moment, doesn't it? Hopefully this next bit should clear things up for you a bit. About a centimeter to the right of the tooth, I want you to put your paint paintbrush, well mine's a brush, isn't it, your pen, down here we're going to come down we're going to go next to the teeth there like that and we're just going to curve back around and disappear in behind there and we're going to add another little line there and look we have drawn our horse's mouth and if we color this little shape in here there we go you can sort of see our horse's jaw there with his teeth and if you like, you can add, because they're quite gummy horses, aren't they? If you see them when they get their teeth out, you can sort of see the tops of their gums. And we're just going to add some little semicircles in there. And this is going to be <laughs> our horse's teeth. Why don't we add a little line in the middle of the tongue as well to make it look more like a tongue? There we go. There we go. This is starting to take shape. Right, come on, let's give our... You know what I do in nostrils, don't you? I like to add a little swirly bit, so let's just add a little swirl in there make it a bit more nostrily like that okay still looks a bit weird I can tell you're not convinced about this one yet but don't worry all will become clear let's draw the rest of our horse's body so from this this point here so where the ear joins the head I want you to draw a straight diagonal line coming down like that about that long about five centimeters long and then from just here where the little curvy bit is I want you to draw another one and we're going to stop a bit shorter with this one. This is going to be our horse's neck. Okay, now we're going to get into the body. So from this point, I want you to go straight down. Literally straight down your page. Right, almost to the bottom of your page. We'll go to about there, I think. And I'm going to simplify our horse a bit here. We're going to do very simple horse legs, cartoony horse legs. We're just going to go along the bottom and then we're going to Go up about halfway up there, so about there, like that. Then I want you to turn at right angles, go straight across so we're about level with the bottom of this line here. And then let's do exactly the same thing. 
maybe very slightly lower, like millimeters lower, not far, like that. Another little leg. Then let's turn at right angles again and we're gonna go along our page here. But I want you just to start curving upwards very slightly towards the end of the line, like that. Okay, let's go back up to this point now and do our horses back. We're just gonna come straight along the top, like that. And then when we get towards here, when we're above that line, we're gonna curve down and we're gonna just go pretty much straight down our page into our horse's back leg, like that. And this one needs to finish level with that. So we go down, right angles, back up. Just before we get to that top bit, let's just curve it around a bit and join it up there. So it gets slightly fatter at the back. There we go, a nice, very simple horse's body. We need to add the other leg, the fourth leg. So we're just gonna add a very simple rectangle shape like that. This one finishing level roughly with that one. Now to add our horse's hooves, we're gonna add a shape. Now they sort of slightly point forward, so we're just gonna add a shape that sort of slightly bends around and goes forward on each, at the bottom of each leg, just like that. So this is a very stylized, very simplified horse. There we go. Little horse's hooves. You're starting to see it now, aren't you? You definitely, definitely are. Now then, I'm gonna take my very thick pencil here. This is called a Woody, Stabilo Woody. They're really cool, these pencils. I love drawing them with them. When I do my live events, sometimes I draw, sometimes I draw, I have a camera pointing down at my bit of paper if we're doing really big theatres or whatever, and I will draw on a piece of paper like this and it'll be on a big screen behind me. But sometimes in the slightly smaller venues and sometimes at schools, I have a great big flip chart, a huge flip chart that I stand on the stage with and I always draw with these because they're really good when you're doing big drawings and they're also really good when you're drawing horses manes okay so I'm going to give my horse a nice black mane this is when your horse really starts looking horse-like so what they do oh did you hear that little bleeping sound I must have got a message sorry about that um so yes horses manes we're going to start with a little tuft of hair but can you see what I really like about these pencils they sort of have a little bit of sort of crayon-y texture, which is just perfect for horse's hair. So there we go, a little bit of hair coming forward here, and then the mane is gonna carry on down our horse's neck, like that. And just by drawing with my big thick colored pencil here, it adds a little bit of texture that looks just a bit like a horse's hair. There we go, see what I mean? Nice, huh? And we can do the tail like that too. So my tail, I'm just gonna do very simple, three little lines like that. A little bit there, and quite long. And look, we have a horse. That wasn't too difficult, was it? You know, I don't know what I was so scared of. Now there's other things you can do. I'm gonna go into super speed mode in a second to color my horse in. And there's a couple of other things that we're gonna to do to make it look even more horse-like. The main one, I'm gonna leave, quite often horses have sort of patches on their nose and I'm going to leave a sort of a different colour patch that's basically it's going to come all the way down here and curl around there as if it was going down the middle of our horse's um, nose. So I'm going to do that. You don't have to do that. Your horse can be whatever colour you want your horse to be. Oh, should I tell you what? I told you there was going to be something down here, didn't I, that our horse was looking at, that our horse wanted to eat. And what do horses like to eat more than anything else? Sugar lump, someone said. Well, I'm not going to draw sugar lumps. I'm going to draw an apple. You all know how much I like drawing an apple. So down here, we're going to draw an apple. So we're going to come around. It's going to be sort of like a circle, but with a slight dent in the top like that. And then this is how I draw apples. We do a little curvy bit coming from the top like that that doesn't join up with the other side. Then we draw a straight line coming out of that with a little line on the end. And then we just do a little leaf, shall we? on our apple, that's how I like to draw apples. So there we go, our horse is looking at his apple. Do you know what? You know I said I was just gonna do the dot, the eye as a dot. I think I'm gonna add another circle to make it look like our horse is looking down. So let's get the thin pen. So, cause we want our horse to look like he or she is looking down. So I'm just gonna add a circle around that. Just like that. And look, our horse is looking down now at the apple. And you know what, come on, let's go for it. Let's add some nice eyelashes. Horses have lovely long eyelashes sometimes, don't they? So we'll add a few little eyelashes. Why not add a little eyebrow too? There we go. 
this is the thing about drawing. You decide what you want to do as you go along. There are no rules. So sometimes you can change your mind, can't you? There we go. A nice little horsey, all ready to be coloured. So I'm going to go into super speed mode to colour mine in. As I said, yours can be any colour you want, you like. If you look at some horses, if you look horses up online, you'll see they're all sorts of different colours. Some of them are, have almost like a cow-like pattern. But this is Draw With Rob. You can do yours bright pink if you want. It doesn't have to be, you know, true to life. Do anything you like. Cover it with stars. Make it a rainbow horse. Whatever you like. I'm going to see you back here in about 20 or 30 seconds with a fully coloured in horse. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. There we go, one finished horse drawing. Nicely coloured in, I've gone for pretty traditional horsey colours, haven't I? Just a nice brown horse with a little white patch on his or her nose looking down at their lovely green apple. Now, instead of adding just shadow around the feet, you can see I've added sort of grass, grassy texture, but I've still made it darker around the feet, the, the areas that are touching the ground and the apple there, just to give that illusion that there's a solid kind of base beneath the horse and the apple. So maybe you've had a go at doing that too. Now we need to sign our drawings. I think I'm gonna sign mine over here this time. There we go, just sign that Rob down in the bottom right. Don't forget to sign your drawings. I really want to see your lovely works of art this week, all your different horses. This is how I get to see it. You need to get your grown up to take a picture of your lovely horsey drawing and then they send it to me well they don't send it to me they post it on social media using the hashtag draw with rob that's the best way that i will get to see your drawings and i can't wait to see them this week i hope you've had fun drawing this horse with me this is the one that i've been nervous about pretty much since i started draw with rob but actually i'm quite proud of this i think it's a pretty good pretty good horse drawing i hope you've had fun drawing along with me today i'm going to be back very soon with another episode of Draw With Rob. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, everybody. Keep on drawing, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.